We're ready to put the head gate on. In yesterday's video, we showed you how to make the floor platform, how to make the frame. We also showed you how to put these removable sides in. Now it's time to work on the head gate, and that's what we're gonna do next. At our old homestead, we had a couple posts that we built a head gate off of. You can check out that video right there to see how we did that. When I looked at our barn here, I saw right down the middle of the barn, we had this row of strong, built into the barn four by fours. It was perfect. Some of you watching this video might not have to build the entire frame like we did. If you're in a barn where you have a couple posts you can build a head gate off of, uh, all you'll have to watch is this video where we show you how to build the head gate part. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to actually build a head gate with a movable part to lock the cow's head in. If you need to build the entire stanchion, go back and watch part one. You ready? We're ready. Let's get started. We want to put a feed bucket built into this head gate, and you really should too. If you choose to use a bucket or something else, you can custom build a frame for your bucket. We'll just show you what we do for this one. Or if you want to skip this part and just build the head gate, you can just skip ahead and see how we build the head gate. to me. Let's take that out, right, so they can yeah. see what we're doing. Now we're gonna put the head gate in this section here with the piece that slides to hold your cow's head in place. And you wanted, we needed to do this first because of where we were drilling. Now everything's locked in, it's time to work on this last little section and then our stanchion is done. We're trying to decide the head gate, how much inside space to give our cow. She measured about seven inches at her neck. We're gonna go with seven inches on the inside. We're inside the stanchion, looking forward towards the head gate. What we're gonna do now, most of the work is gonna be from back here, so we want you to be able to see as we put this head gate together how this works.
Now we're gonna drill a hole right through all this, run a bolt so that can be pivoting but stay in place, and then put one more locking bolt up here and then we're gonna be all done with this. Now the moment of truth is, will your post slide? And in our case, ours is tight, but it does pretty well. We're back at the stanchion again. Uh, another change of clothes. We've been working on this for the last couple days. Now we're working on just finishing the locking mechanism for the head gate. So when the cow goes in, there's a lock. You saw us drill this hole. Uh, that's for this bolt to go into. And when the cow goes in, you put the bolt through, and now the stanchion can't be opened back up. We're going to do a slight modification that we thought of so that this bolt stays in there all the time. And we're gonna show you how to do this here. We'll line it up on our hole here. Now normally you'd like to do this when it wasn't already drilled a hole so that that point will get in where it needs to, but we should be able to cheat this for a little bit. And it's going to be fun. It's going to want to move. That's why I'm going bigger. That'd be enough right there, right, Birch? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're also going to put a little recess in here so that when uh, Kay or Aust uses this and locks it in, when they pound that bolt back in to lock it in place, it'll have a little place to sit. So that's what we're up to. Sink in pretty good. Yeah, that'll be perfect. So that way it kind of notches in. The reason we went through all that extra work was so that quickly and easily, every time Kay's done milking, she can pull that out, but it doesn't fall out. Because if this were to actually come out, You'd rest it somewhere, you'd forget, you'd lose it, and then you'd be like, ah, oh, I need another bolt, and that would happen every week. This way, it goes in, it comes out, it never falls out. That's a big, important step. putting these eye bolts into the stanchion in the back corner posts. These eye bolts are for the quick connecting of a rope. If you have a new cow that you're bringing into the stanchion and you want to keep her from backing out, you can quickly clamp a rope to these eye bolts and uh, that'll create a nice soft but firm uh, gate or uh, pressure behind her that will keep her from backing out of the stanchion. So we're going to put those right there. bought these quick clips at Tractor Supply and uh, we're just going to use those to clip on so that it's a quick release when the cow goes in there. <laughs> the 
This brace can be quickly clipped across the back to keep a cow in training in. And then when we unclip it, we can put it up and over and out of the way here. And only have it, only use it when we need it. And when we need it, it's right there all ready to go. We want to put a rubber mat on the floor of this deck. So I'm going to cut that post that goes down in the front so we don't have to notch the rubber mat. Then we're going to measure the length we need and cut a rubber mat. We bought some rubber mat material from Tractor Supply. We'll cut it right to the perfect rectangle and uh, then this puppy is done. The stanchion is done. A lot of hard work. It's super solid. Any parting advice, Uncle Bourbon? Drink more bourbon. I like that. Less work. We're gonna show you in an upcoming video, it actually being used by the cow, how it all works. In the future, we will update you on this stanchion. If we've made any alterations or any changes, I will create a new video and that video will pop up right here for you to click or right there or it'll be in the links above and below. And uh, check out that video. If you're watching this video and it's months or years later, check that video to see if we changed anything before you build the stanchion. But otherwise, this thing is solid and I can't wait to give it a try, which you'll see in probably tomorrow's video. So, awesome. Good work, man. All right. Oh. If you like this design and you want to build this yourself, but you feel like you need a little bit more help, there's an extended version of this video in the Homesteady Pioneer Library. In that version, we take a little bit more time with you. Uncle Bourbon walks you through a lot of the steps, how to square off your lumber and make sure the frame is perfectly square. The, square. the square is actually our guide. He tells you what the dimensions are for marking and screwing it all together. Right now I found the center of the board, which we know is three feet, so it's 18. He also shares a lot of good carpentry tips with you. That And let the blade, uh, the motor come up to speed because all that rotational force is going to want to torque. It's just a little bit more in depth for those who need a little bit more help building this stanchion. There's also a complete lumber list and tool list along with the dimensions of all the lumber, which you're gonna to wanna to cut them if you wanna build this exact version, the one that we built here. You can gain access to that video for free. You can become a pioneer for free. Try it out, uh, click the link that you see pop up here. Your first month is free, and after that it's five bucks a month. In addition to this course, you'll be able to take all our other master classes on homesteading, listen to the bonus podcasts. There's a lot for homesteading pioneers over at thisishomesteady.com, and that five bucks a month is a huge help for us in producing this show. Try it out for free and get to watch the extended version of this video by clicking that link.